So this was super nice. It looks like somebody left a bag of cookies here on trail. Kind of zip tied to a little branch here. All right, good afternoon. It's just after one o'clock. We've been on trail now for over five miles. We stopped to have some trail magic by an amazing group of volunteers who have been maintaining the last 10 miles of this the trail. Yeah, it was the Allentown Club. Uh -huh, Allentown Trail Club. Allentown Trail Club. They've been maintaining that section 10 mile stretch of trail since the 1930s, 40s. Uh, so quite some time uh, and they do an amazing job. I gotta tell you, today it's kind of kind of rough. Um, we said goodbye to our friends this morning. We had an amazing two days with them, and you know, after spending time with friends and cherishing those moments, it's tough to reflect on. You know, choosing to pull yourself away for six months from family and friends to do a hike like this. You know, after moments like that, you think about why are we out here? Why are we not spending more time with our friends and our family? And it's tough. And as I've been personally reflecting all morning, we just left Trail Magic and there was a gentleman who stopped us and and basically was providing us feedback essentially sharing that we ought to be proud of kind of where we are and we may not realize it today how far we've come and and what we've accomplished but you know when we do finish it may not be right away but looking back on this time he said we will certainly appreciate it and it's and it was just so crazy just as I was kind of reflecting on this time and kind of where we are and the things and we're missing out with friends and family. You know, I, I think what he said kind of makes it all worthwhile. And I know our kids, uh, uh, you know, appreciate and understand what we've chosen to do and certainly our friends as well. But I think it was just uh, some reflection, but thankful his, for his comments thankful for the time that we did have with our friends and thankful for making it through all these rocks in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Only about, about 40 miles ago, we made it through Nice Edge earlier today. And as you've seen from the video, it's, it's not lightening up, but just thank you so much to our friends for your time. And thank thanks. you to Kevin and Serene for dropping us off this morning. Yes, thank you guys. And thanks for all of you who are watching and following us for your comments and support. We certainly appreciate all of you. Uh, yeah, just thankful to be out here for sure. Most of the time. <laughs> this is another example. Here are my feet. And I'm looking straight down. And that's the trail ahead of us. But good times. Right there, that one. Huh? That rock right, right there. there, yes. It's, too far. it's not. Lead with your left foot. Oh. Go. Can't. It's stuck. 
this? Yeah, absolutely. What? Absolutely. All right, if we ever make it there tonight, we are planning to go to George W. Outer Bridge Shelter. Uh, it's just before Palmerton. Uh, but in Far Out, there's been a lot of comments about recent bear activity. Not aggressive bear activity, but nonetheless. Uh, Lightning, friend of ours, she's about six miles ahead of us. She just saw a bear, her second bear sighting since, since she started her through hike. So maybe we'll see a bear today from a distance, hopefully. All right, we just came down the mountain near Palmerton. And although our plan was to stop at the shelter before Palmerton, you know, with the comments in Far Out uh, and recent bear activity, you know, on our way down to the shelter, we heard a, a woman scream twice. And so I kind of rushed down, you know, thinking that maybe there was a bear spotted in that area. Got to the shelter. Didn't see anyone there, no bear or anything, but there was a sign posted on the shelter, just said caution sign. Uh, a lot of bear activity in this area, use caution. And I really didn't see any tent sites. Did you see any tent sites anywhere? And so there really wasn't a great place to camp and why not go to uh, a hotel for the night? So during trail magic today, uh, we met Neil and he told us that if we needed a ride into town, he'd be willing to give us a ride. And so we called Country Inn and Suites uh, in Lehigh, and they had availability, and Neil is on his way to pick us up. So we're gonna spend the night at Country Inn and Suites, sleep peacefully. All right, so our, just coming up to the Country Inn and Suites, looks pretty nice. All right, this is our first look at a Country Inn and Suites. First time for us and actually not bad, pretty nice. Smells clean. Smells very clean. We're closing out day 100. We are celebrating day 100 in a hotel. <laughs> We hiked 14 and a half miles today. We look for any reason to celebrate. <laughs> and got off trail at mile 1260.5. Yep, lots of rocks today. Yeah, but overall it was a good day. We had trail magic. Lots of trail magic today. So not sure what our plan for tomorrow is. There's quite a bit of bad weather uh, coming in next this next like five days. So, tomorrow's gonna be the worst day of it <clears throat> so we're just kind of playing it by ear right now uh, we have a really big climb out of out of where we got off trail and it's a like a, it's rock, a rock scramble, scramble. and yeah. they said you just got to put your poles away and use your hands so i'm not sure about doing that in the pouring rain so we'll see maybe two nights in hotel <laughs> celebrate day 101 <laughs> all right guys well we will see you later. <laughs> Good night, guys. See you on trail. Good night.